everybody. Uh, welcome back. Wanted to do a quick video. At least I think it's going to be quick. Um, I've been getting, uh, well, seeing some changes in the um, all-in-one electric brewing systems lately, and I thought I'd mention what I see going on. Uh, let me turn on another light. Hopefully that's a little bit better. Uh, so there's been, this is what I use, right? This is the uh, Brewer's Edge Mash and Boil. There are other systems very similar to this. There's the Anvil Foundry, uh, the Grain Father. Uh, there's others. There's actually a lot of them that are like, um, I don't want to say no name brand, but they're just not well known. They're sort of copycats that came out after all these. This is, I think, still like, if not the, the, the least expensive, one of the least expensive um, on one brewing systems. Uh, it has, you know, some faults that I don't like, but uh, it works for me, uh, for what I need. But here's the deal. It has some things that I thought were, I've always thought are design flaws. One of which is the uh, element that's in the bottom of it. Um, they've now come out with a version 2.0 of this system that has a low voltage or low, wall, low watt element. Uh, so it helps uh, to prevent scorching. This one does not, and the other problem uh, with this is it cycles too much. Like, I think there's a three or five degree cycle, meaning if you set it for 150 degrees, it will not turn off until it hits like 153, and it won't turn on unless it goes three degrees below that. So there's this variance of like five, six degrees, um, and that's not great for when you're mashing. You wanna to try to keep it as close to the temperature you want as possible. So the new version fixes that. Um, there's also an issue with the grain basket. So here's the grain basket, and you use this instead of a bag, like a brew in the bag. This is basically a metal brew in the bag bag. Um, so this, what I don't like about this is it's solid, right? It's solid. The only way for water to get into your grain is through the perforations in the bottom. Sorry, sorry. There's a uh, little attachment for the uh, recycle hose there. Uh, so the only way for grain water to get through is through this uh, perforated bottom. Now they've made a version 2.0 that has perforations about a third of the way up. Um, and it has different legs. The other problem I have with this, there's these legs, and apparently these rubber pieces or silicone pieces are really only put on here for shipping. But everybody who owns this has kept those rubber pieces on there. Uh, but basically the problem is... I don't know if you can see down into this or not, but there's like a metal support ring that I think can be pulled out for, you know, if you wanted to try to deep clean or something. But when you pull the basket out, it's supposed to, you turn it and it's supposed to set on that ring. Problem is there's too much variance and it's way too easy for it to fall in like this. And this happens to me all the time. So I don't like this design, right, at all. Well, version 2.0, comes with these like overlaps that actually really hook in uh, to this uh, system so that it really can't go anywhere. It's really quite secure. Uh, and also the markings inside where you read how much liquid is in your, you know, the volume that's in your um, kettle here. It's, it's, it's based on having this basket inside here uh, with the displacement of water. The problem is if this basket's in here, you can't read the numbers because it's blocking the etchings, the numbers. You can't read the volume. So the, I guess the idea is if you, if you have a way to pull this out, some systems you can pull it out and actually set it like a little bit up to the edge like this and allows you to see down. Of course, that doesn't help if the markings are based on, you know, having this displaced in the water. So. Anyway, I asked them, I said, can you send me, can I buy just the basket? I already have your version 1.0. Can I buy just the new basket? Oh no, the new basket's not available because they want you to buy the new system, which is hundreds of dollars. Uh, I think that you'll be able to buy the basket on its own, but it will be like they said a year, year and a half. So, I don't know, some really long time, right? A long time. I get they want to sell the new version for a while first, but those of us who bought the original version, it's not very nice to us. It doesn't encourage me to want to buy from them again. Um, I'll be honest with you, uh, the next system I, I do upgrade to is probably going to be something like the Anvil, uh, I'm sorry, the Clawhammer system. 
uh, which I won't go into in this video, but it's, it's more, um, it's basically every piece you can buy separately and upgrade separately. Um, anyway, there's a company called Anvil. That's who I get my uh, fermenters from. Anvil is the daughter company of um, Bilk, Bilchman. Bilchman? I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, uh, Blickman. Sorry, Blickman. Blickman is probably like the most commercial uh, quality stuff that you can get as a home brewer. Uh, they make good stuff, but it's very expensive. Anvil is their sort of uh, lower version or lower priced like home use stuff. Also very good, just not as expensive, not quite as commercial quality. Kind of like whether you're buying a Honda or an Acura. So they sell these kits now from Anvil for their system, uh, but it looks to me like it'll work on mine. So it comes with these screws and things, but also these brackets. And the brackets, what I'm gonna do is just unscrew these little, you know, feet. And then what you do is you put the bracket there instead. And I think I might be able to get away with just putting one screw and not having to drill another hole. And then of course, I'll drop it. Um, with those brackets, when it goes to sit on here, the whole bracket, uh, let's see if I can just show you by tipping it here. But well, you can see from here, maybe from this side, the bracket is just going to sit right in there and it's going to be very hard for it to fall uh, because it's going to be much, much more secure that way. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put those brackets on and then I will uh, come back and show you the final piece and um, yeah, it'll be, it'll be interesting. I think it'll help me a lot. And um, something to think about. If you're looking to buy one of these all-in-one systems, um, keep an eye out because most of them are upgrading some of those design flaws. And uh, the newer versions have those uh, design flaws fixed. So I'll be back in a minute and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, guys, so I got that completed. I should have mentioned, uh, don't mind the tamales. Uh, it's that time of year. I was making some tamales for uh, New Year, for February. Uh, okay, so I got this all done. So this, these brackets, again, let me show you a picture of the bag here. The brackets are from Anvil Brewing. Uh, I got them from the Anvil Brewing website. Um, it's called a basket catch adapter. Uh, I'll throw a link in the description, of course, uh, if you're interested. They're like $15, uh, so it's a pretty inexpensive upgrade. Um, they are not built for this particular mash and boil system. Now, I've seen people do it in other systems. I think even on the Anvil system, which they're designed for, you have to actually drill holes into your brew basket and everything. I didn't want to do that since I already had the little, you know, uh, bolts on all four sides. Uh, that were existing, I took those off. Turns out the holes were too big, but the uh, anvil adapters came with these washers that were enough to fill that gap. And they don't have to be waterproof because this is gonna be you know, in the liquid. It's not like I'm trying to keep water from getting in. So anyway, it is a tight fit. You can hear it sort of scraping the sides. And even when I get to here, yeah, it's a little bit of a tight fit getting it in and out. And it is gonna be like, you know, but it works, it works, and then all I have to do is turn it, uh, and then it sets really firmly, especially when there's gonna be grain in here. It sets now so nice, this is not gonna tip over. I mean, it just isn't, um, compared to what I had. This is so much more secure. Um, it's still flat enough so that it can just set on its own feet underneath, so none of that has changed. The only thing that's changed is that now instead of trying to precariously set it on here uh, and wobble around. Now why they didn't have this as the design originally, I don't know. I really don't. Um, yeah, I mean the only thing I would say is that it does come with uh, a top hole where you could drill the top in as well. I didn't do that. I only use the existing holes that are in my system already. Uh, and they're pretty tight. I mean, if I really pull on it, yeah, I, I can get it to move. But uh, I think if you're, you know, not too, too overly, you know, 
uh, you know, hard on it, um, I think you'll be okay and you'll be able to not have to worry about it. I don't want to have to drill a hole in, in, in just to add a screw if I don't have to. And reality is I will probably buy, if I still have this system in like a year, I will probably buy the basket because by then I bet you I can buy just the basket that was the upgrade that they made that has the perforations in the bottom. So at that point, I mean, like the, the existing basket, if I want to buy this basket here as just a replacement, it's like 15 or $30. So if, if that's all it's going to cost for the new version of the basket, when I can finally buy it, that's not a, you know, that's, that's a worthwhile, um, upgrade. So anyway, I hope that helped. And if you're looking for all in one systems, uh, just keep an eye out for those upgrades from the older versions or you may even see stuff. So now that you know what you're looking for, you know what they're talking about. They've added the legs, they've added perforations here. If you're looking at buying an all-in-one brewing system, sort of like this, may I highly recommend you consider Claw Hammer. Claw Hammer comes with a completely mesh brew basket, which would allow much better efficiency and flow of your liquid. It comes with a external pump it has a sprayer on top, so it's better at recirculating. And if that pump were to die and, or and stop working, it's external. You can just buy a new one and replace it. Whereas this system is built in, and if it dies, it dies. I can't replace it, really. Um, also, the claw hammer system is a big pot with a, um, uh, an element that you can remove and put Put in so you can actually use their system on an open flame or a propane outdoors or you can screw in the element and do it inside on electric and you don't even need like anyway the point is it's modular i guess is what i'm saying claw hammer system is modular meaning you can upgrade stuff as they come out with upgrades and and things that are better that they new design ideas you can usually buy those things and upgrade your existing equipment rather than having to go, oh, well, gee, if I want to upgrade, now I have to buy a whole new version two of what I have. And then what I do with the existing one, sell it to somebody if, if I can't even sell it. Yeah, so a little bit of a rant there, but um, if you're in the market for an all-in-one brewing system that's an electric all-in-one brewing system, uh, if you're looking for budget, this is the way to go. It does work really well. I make really good beers. I'm sure you want to watch some of my um, all-in-one, all-day all brewing videos. You'll see a lot of the beers that I make and whatnot. Um, but if you have a little extra money and you want to buy something that's, you know, maybe a little higher quality and is going to be a more upgradable, uh, the claw hammer, I think, is the way to go, in my opinion. Um, yeah, so that's all I've got for you. Um, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, if you look up, probably in the left corner, I'll have a video of one of my many other videos that I've done that you can watch if you're interested. And uh, I put out a video almost every week. Um, so if you subscribe, you'll get notified the next time I put out a video. It's usually every Monday morning. Uh, until then, happy brewing.